uh-oh, here comes another poem of the moment. Howdy do, how are you? It's good to see y'all again. You're looking good still. You don't think I can see you, but I can see you just fine. Yes, it's sort of a magic computer I'm looking at right now. It's got you there. In fact, I can tell. You just raise your hands. You, how many, you all raise your hand. I'll count them, okay? Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Put your hands up in the air. Yep, 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 yep. How many did you get? Uh-huh, I got the same number. See, I can tell you're there. Anyway, welcome. Uh, my name is Beaumont P. Beauregard. I happen to be a cousin of Ted Shy, that famous children's poet, Ted Shy. And uh, all my friends, and you can call me, because you're one of my friends now, because we know each other. Um, my, all my friends call me Billy Bobob, so you can call me that. And I'm here. Um, I normally live in Ch Charleston, South Carolina. But I'm here visiting my cousin Ted Shy in a place called Cliff Island, Maine. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that that Ted Shy guy looks an awful lot like me. And it's amazing because we are th we're cousins, but we're like distant cousins. We have the same great great grandmother, but that's all. Anyway, I'm tickled pink to be here with y'all. And I'm here, you can see behind me, there's like ocean and stuff. It's real cold water, not like Charleston. So I'm not going swimming, no how, no way. But I got a poem, because I love poems, and I'm going to share one with you right now. It's from Teddy Shy's book called I Froze My Mother. You can get it, in fact, you can get it, you can download that thing right on this website, if you want to, poetryguide.com. So here's the poem. It's um, pretty funny. I like it, because it's funny, and most of his poems are pretty funny. And there's a picture, because there's, like, awesome pictures in here. There's a picture, and that's not it. Where'd she go? There's a girl named Dominique, who's a picture in the, pa in the poem. There she is, making a funny face. I love this face. And the poem that I'm going to read to you is something that doesn't happen in Charleston, South Carolina. It doesn't happen in uh, here in Cliff Island, Maine, but it happens in a lot of big cities. And the poem is called Dynamite Driver. Yeah, sit back and enjoy it. It's pretty funny. It goes like this. My dad's a dynamite driver, as all the neighbors know. He gets explosive easily and lets his anger show. When Dad gets mad, he waves and shouts and shares a lot of stress. He says some things I can't repeat, so you'll just have to guess. He tells me not to listen, but I do it anyway. So now, when we go driving, I know just what to say. Just like Dad, I've now become a raving, screeching creature. Hey, you! Get lost! Get off the road! Uh-oh. That was my teacher. So be careful. You never know who you're going to be yelling at. I don't suggest it. Yeah. So anyway, it's good to see y'all. Come back soon. There's lots more poems. I don't know about you, but I happen to think of all the readers. I'm the best. You can vote if you want, but that's what I think. But uh, don't tell anybody I said that, okay, because I want to be polite about it. Anyway, thanks for coming. Ted Shy, my favorite poet, always says this. He says, bye-bye, French fry, toodaloo, kangaroo. See you later, refrigerator. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much.